welcome back to my channel this is sarah here at the simple wife and i wanted to show y'all a flip through of the astronomy junior notebooking journal from apologia and this also you can also get which i'll be not be showing this today but you can also get just the notebooking journal for older kids um it just has less coloring and things like that which my younger two will love and i have the older edition from Exploring Creation with Astronomy, this is like the teacher's book for teaching the subject of astronomy. Um, this was done about 2004, somewhere in there, 2004, 2005, somewhere in there. They do have a newer edition that looks just like, somewhat like this probably, but I decided that mine would be perfectly fine to just go ahead and use mine. So that is what I will be using. And if you hear my kids, they are in the other room playing and they yell and, all the things are not hurting, I promise. So I hope y'all, you guys can ignore them while we flip through the Astronomy Junior Notebooking Journal from Apologia. So I'm going to open it right up. I flipped a little through it, but not much. This is just the different things like the textbook that I just showed you, the Notebooking Journal, and the Junior Notebooking Journal. And this audio says right here that the actually the text... Of this is actually can be found or bought on audio or the whole text of the book I won't flip all through this but there's a lot of reading but I figure we will just do this a few times a week like two three days a week and I will just be the one to read it <laughs> not that it wouldn't be nice to have the audio version this has a table of contents all the things you'll be learning and it all lines up perfectly with this teacher's book right here so so they will learn it and then they will come over here and do their work. Kind of just talks a little bit about the book. And we have the table of contents, the lesson one, what is astronomy, the sun. As you can see, there's like daily things. As you will see, these lessons are super long. So like on the sun, you're not just going to be doing the whole thing about the sun in one day. You're going to be breaking it up. Even more so if you need to, like Earth and the moon, Mars and space rocks and inner planets, Jupiter and Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, outer planets, the dwarf planets, the belt, stars, galaxies, and space travel, parent guide. This is really cool. They get to do a creation confirmation bookmark. Of course, it has instructions on how to cut that out on the dotted line. And all the things. There's lots of things. Lesson one, what is astronomy? And then you will do fascinating facts and personal reflections probably assume they want you to draw some kind of picture over here. This is where you make up a funny phrase like my very edgy mother jumps. I don't know, you know, where you make up a, a little funny sentence using these words as your first letter or these let the first letters as your for, as your word to kind of be your guide. Of course, you have copy work on a Bible verse. And it'll be real simple. Like we use the King James to just cross this out and write the King James right here or on a whiteboard or a blackboard, something like that. So it wouldn't be hard at all if you are not going to be using that particular version or if you just want your kids to write this, they would just write it down here on the line. And then they also have the cursive version as well which my oldest in his book has that as well the print and the cursive version i would probably just have him do both or he could choose which one then you're going to do an astronomy matchbook it kind of shows you all the instructions it's very well laid out and this is part of your matchbook which has the artificial satellite you can maybe write a little bit about it galileo the hubble nasa Constellations, Stonehenge, Nicholas Copernicus, and Natural Satellite. And then you do then you're, you're, do your astronomy matchbook. 
it goes right here in that square. So it's lots of fun little things. And there's also fun stuff that if you don't, I just wanted to point out this as well, if you don't get the notebooking journals, there's definitely things to do in this. There's definitely some stuff to do. They will give you lots of instructions in your teacher's guide. Of course, you have an astronomy crossword, which is pretty simple for them. Like it kind of starts out, it's got some of the letters, which makes it easy because that's going to be NASA, that's going to be Galileo or gravity or something like that. It's going to be pretty simple for them. Of course, in the older version, it's going to be a little tougher. So I wish when I post a video on my next video will be the flip through of the astronomy notebooking journal for older kids. Then you have the activity. You're going to build a model solar system. You're going to do what I did, what I learned, take it further. And this is also just, you don't have to do all these things. It's just kind of fun for you to do as decide what you want your kids to do. Make a scrapbook page of your journey so far. That would be kind of fun. If you want to do that, take it further. There is a coloring page, like when the baby Jesus was born. That would be super fun. And then, of course, the galaxy. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made, and by the breath of his mouth, all their host. Then you have the sun. It's going to be basically very similar. Your fascinating facts and personal reflections. Understanding distance and size. What I did, what I learned. Give a speech to teach others about the sun. You could even just have them dictate it to you. Or draw a picture. Or just, you know, the sky is the limit on this. The sun wheel book. And all the things. They'll give instructions. Sun will mini book. Your copy work again. Copy work in cursive or print. And you have your rainbow mini book. So as you can see, it's a lot of stuff. It's a whole lot of stuff. It's good stuff. Solar Eclipse mini book. And then you've got the sun vocabulary. Lift the flap. And then match up the words to what it's about. The sun vocabulary. You can take it further. Fill this page. Oh my goodness. I hope that's not bothering y'all with my kids playing. Fill this page with colorful drawings and lists of books you read about the sun, movies you watched, and any additional experiments you performed. They can write whatever they want to right here. Another picture, another taking it further. My husband's at work. The kids just kind of go a little crazy, so they love to just run around and yell, and I may fix them to tell them to go outside. <laughs> as in the righteous will shine forth as the sun, the kingdom of their father. He who has ears, let him hear. Matthew 13, 43. Such a sweet little picture. And here's another one. So there's lots of coloring in the junior notebooking one. And there will no longer be any night and they will not have need of the light of a lamp nor the light of the sun because the Lord God will illumine them and they will reign forever and ever found in Revelation 22 5 then we go on to Mercury so it's going to be basically very similar just having some different things to do you're going to have your copy work very Charlotte Mason I feel like this is very I love it I just love it so much I love all the things i love the crossword puzzles i love doing crossword puzzles when i was a kid so i know that my kids will love them as well lots of verses i love the fact that it just brings it right back to the bible i love that so so much another one then we have venus copy words venus volcano mini books your Venus mini book, the radar, learn how radar is used, radar chart for activity, the Venus crossword, 
taking it further. So it's basically, as, as you can tell, there's like a trend with this. Coloring pages, then we start a new lesson. So it's basically got a couple, a couple of coloring pages at the end, it looks like, of every lesson. If it continues on, you know, always have your fascinating facts and personal reflections. That would be kind of fun. Maybe even while you're telling the story, if you have this book, they can draw a picture or they can write something like pictures or color or just something that stands out to them while you are doing the lesson. I find that if I can keep my kids busy while I'm doing the lesson, they're a lot less likely to want to interrupt and things like that and throw you off track and it will just give them something to do. I always try to, even though a lot of these things can be done after the lesson, I feel like a lot of I choose to do the things while I am talking. <laughs> like, y'all work on this while I'm reading. I find that's nice. Oh, that's cute. Create an advertisement for Earth. That'll be cute. Of course, the crosswords always kind of, they kind of show the first letter. Then you're going to do your Earth mini books. You're going to do lots of mini books. Those are fun. That'll be so fun. And then you have coloring pages. Once you get past the mini book, more coloring pages. And then we get in the moon. So I'm sure you guys can figure out by now. There's quite a little trend going on here. I like it that it's kind of predictable, but also... Because once that means once you learn something, how to do a particular thing, you're going to be repeating it for each phase. So I like that. Of course, I always like to, anytime we learn about the moon, I like to, we like to eat Oreo cookies because it's just fun to do like half moon and quarter moon and all the things with the Oreos. A lot of crossword puzzles coloring pages and then we have Mars okay so I'm gonna kind of skip around and we're not gonna touch every page now on now that we've got we kind of can kind of see a trend going on and I think it, it changes it up enough but not so much that you're just like oh my gosh and you have the inner planets That'll be a cool picture. I always like to see how many kids color things because they always do it differently. Oh, that's cool. More coloring. Okay, very interesting. So that was a, a way shorter one. So there are some shorter ones, so not all of them are going to be extremely long. But as you guys can see, it's a big book. It's a big book. And it does show answers to the crossword puzzles in case you all need that. Um, they don't show answers to anything else because it's pretty self-explanatory, but it's over 300 pages. Of course, you don't have to do every single little thing, but as you can see, it's, it's a lot of stuff. It's definitely what I would consider a full, full year, and we are also doing other things as well for science, so yeah, we're definitely going to be busy with science but i think it'll be a good busy i think it'll be fun and i hope you guys enjoyed this flip through of the astronomy junior notebooking journal from apologia and if you enjoy this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also hit that red subscribe button so you can see more videos just like these very soon and i'll talk to you guys real soon bye bye